Welcome back. So second half of the week, bunch of things going on. First up, this is that plug for the rear seat mounts now. And so that's been milled in the putty and uh, ready for the guys to start uh, doing a bit of sanding on that, getting it prepped to pull the mold. And I was up at Brit's shop there for a little while on uh, Wednesday and back again for about an hour on Thursday. So here I'm actually drilling and tapping um, some rods here. And this particular one is a connecting rod that links the uh, throttle levers to the actual little Audi accelerator module thing you know because it's a electric um, throttle by wire setup so I had to do about eight of those and the other ones were for the rudders and this is that bracket that I was creating uh, to support the uh, turbos on the engine and Brit uh, got it all nicely welded up there and put a couple of gussets in on the backside so that's all sorted and there you can see there's that uh, um, throttle set up there just got it mocked into place so you can kind of see how that's all going to work and nothing's bolted down there, it's just sitting loose but basically that's how that's going to work when it's bolted down it won't be moving around like it is there um, so anyway one more thing that's basically sorted out and these are those little arms that the uh, rudder cables will connect to so I've got the little um, uh, oil uh, bushings there pressed into them now and so that's how they'll live just like that with a little clevis pin going through there so that's another job uh, pretty much done and I actually got the clever spins in there I just didn't get any video of it and uh, Jeff was fairing out the uh, gap there between the windows and the inner uh, core uh, in preparation for putting the layup over there this is for the rear windows so um, just another step towards getting everything done in the fuselage so we can um, post cure it in our oven and there's a, my little fancy bracket there put in place and eventually I'll get that um, powder coated um, I, I want to try it out uh, for a little while and just see if there's any issues with it but man that whole turbo setup now is rock solid uh, it's not going anywhere because it's a little bit overkill that bracket but um, whatever it's not going to break <laughs> and Zach and Devin aren't wasting too much time on this plug so they've pretty much got the first round of sanding done there and just doing a little bit of fill in some places and getting it ready for the first, uh, the first coat of primer and they've also been putting the um, bracing on the last couple of molds that they did. That was the one um, for the nose gear doors and this was the one for the little uh, parachute cover hatch. So they just need to be trimmed around the edges now. And here's the one for the nose gear door. So that's been released and again that one's been marked and uh, ready to be trimmed off. So they didn't waste too much time on getting that one sorted out. And here you can see now the um, one for the rear seat mounts already got the first round of primer on there so moving along fairly quickly and as I said before this is the last mold that we'll be doing um, there may be some way later on um, but this is the last one when the guys are going to transition over to creating more parts now the wing skins and such so here's that parachute door one now um, that's released from the plug and it needs to be trimmed around the outside and here I've just mocked up what the uh, first set of rudder pedals looks like. So I've got the quadrants in there and I've pressed the uh, oil bushings um, into place and I've got the little spacers in there so that's riding on the rods there. So that's kind of how that's going to work. Obviously still waiting on the actual legs for that. Um, Britt's um, still got that on his list of stuff to do for welding up. Uh, but those are coming along and I decided I'm going to match drill these brackets here instead of welding them that way we can take them apart if we need to so just basically put them put it in the vise there and just drilled a quarter inch hole through both different parts there and I've uh, already got the hardware in that just to put through and bolt that together and meanwhile Jeff laid up the um, parachute strap covers there and this particular one because it's just a sort of a tear away part uh, didn't need to be bagged or anything like that um, so we just basically laid it up with a couple of plies there and uh, put some peel ply on there and it's a done job so he's got both of those done the left and the right one and Devin and Zach have pretty much got this one moving along now I got most of the um, first round of primer all sanded and just got the radius to work on it which is a little bit time consuming in there because it's a little bit rough after the ball mill ran uh, anyway uh, Jeff got the um, rear windows there closed out after he fared that in with the uh, resin and micro mix so that's um, you just got a couple of plies there of carbon fiber to make those windows sort of fit in nicely and here you can see this is the little remote um, fuel drain setup so you can drain any water out of the tank because the bottom of that 
um, drain is in the middle of the um, header tank and so we wanted this to be sort of remotely mounted off the side of the aircraft so you didn't have to climb all the way under the aircraft and so I'll just have this line running there uh, just downhill to this uh, the little drain um, valve there that you just you know push your little thing up against and it drains the the fluid or the fuel out and just removes any water so there you can see he's mocked it in or he's actually put it in place there it's all hooked up to the bottom of the header tank so that's another thing that's all done and he just uh, bonded that little bracket that he made uh, onto the inside of the fuselage and just cut a hole there so looking from the outside under here you can just see there's an opening there so you just put your little fuel cup there and uh, drain any water out and moving on to the parachute strap cover so he's already got those released and uh, trimmed them off and uh, just sitting in place obviously the straps need to be laid out before that'll sit all the way down but uh, looks like it's a pretty nice fit so those will just get sort of um, lightly bonded into place and then sort of fared over and sanded over so you won't even know they're there and there's the one for the other side um, and uh, ultimately you know they'll get the usual paint job and stuff so as I said you won't see them in the end and that's how they look from the other end and again they'll be cut off a bit shorter there because that's where the door needs to be cut out there for for where the parachute will be and you'll see that in an upcoming episode um, that plug that I was or the mold I was showing you before was the parachute door that sort of sits in that area and Devon was busy on Friday afternoon out trimming all those different molds that still needed to be trimmed off and this is that one for the front uh, parachute doors so he's done a real nice job there cutting around uh, the cut line there and uh, sanding it off with a belt sander and then this is that one for the parachute door cover so that's been done as well I think he did uh, yeah he did uh, those ones and the big one the big um, main spa one so that was had been sitting there for a little while but uh, he took that one outside and um, got it all done so that's all looking good now um, so it's just really on to the last mold now the one they're working on so these are hard points that Jeff's just made um, or just cut those are going to be for the um, seat belts and I'll show you a little bit more on that uh, shortly and the guys are just still working on this little bit more work to do before we can get the next round of primer on there just that little radius is just uh, needs quite a little bit of hand work there but they're getting close and uh, these are the seat belts that I've shown before, so the five point harness that we have that you could also you could just switch to a four point if you wanted to, but we're going to just keep it I think as the five point. And they're quite uh, you know heavy duty, wide straps and stuff. And what I decided I wanted to do was um, be able to still have um, a uh, retractable um, you know inertia reel seat belt there. So I've got these, and those are going to be mounted um, on the rear wall and then a little two little brackets on the roof there that bring the um, belt along the roof line and then down onto where um, the back of the seats are so it actually be tucked up nicely on the on the roof it's not going to be sort of visible or anything so you still have the luxury of inertia reel seat belts in the front but also with the safety of a five point harness so uh, and i've got to make a little bracket um, that's going to do basically join these two together because the existing brackets on the belts and stuff don't really work out because I'm joining one to the other. So I quickly sort of threw this design together in the CAD so the two um, big shoulder belts there will go through those wider openings and the inertia rule one will go through the narrow opening there and that'll keep the everything sort of joined together so uh, next week I'll be uh, cutting that on the um, machine. And I dropped a bunch more stuff off for powder coating this morning, all those rods that I did up at Brits. And these are the next round of stuff. So this is the um, retraction brackets for the nose gear, the handles there for the doors, um, the outside handles, and also all those little brackets there for the brake uh, linkages for the rudder pedal. So those will be going to powder coat uh, next week. And here's Jeff in the process of uh, getting ready to bond the overhead roof chase in place. So he's got his little cake mix thing there, baggy and uh, got the high sole mixed in there and just laying it out like he's uh, icing a cake that's pretty much how he does it now it's the most efficient way to get it on a flange like that so with this one going into place all that's left on the roof would be to um, bond in those hard points that I showed you before for where the seat belt um, brackets will mount to uh, seat belts for the front seats so you can see Jeff's uh, just got it laid into place with the high sole and he's uh, putting some um, pop rivets in there to hold it in nice and snug as it bonds up and uh, just as another update um, we now have the all the numbers that we need for all the dimensions for the new drive to fit all the the bearings and the thrust washers in there so Mark is busily working on getting um, 
that whole design finalized so we can send it off uh, to Barry and have that machined. So that's exciting. Um, shouldn't take too long to get that back. And I'm going to be putting a couple more hours on the engine over the weekend uh, just to build some more time on it. Uh, anyway, that's our update for the second half of this week. And thanks again for watching. Tune in next week. There's going to be lots of more fun things happening.